good morning from Studio 57 here in New York. I'm Anne Marie Green. I'm Nikki Batiste in for Vlad Dutier. So here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Stock futures take a nosedive as worries over the banking sector flare up. So we're tracking Wall Street and markets around the globe. An American drone is intercepted by two Russian fighter jets, forcing it to make a crash landing in the Black Sea. What we know about the dramatic encounter. And a late winter wallop brings heavy snow to the northeast as another atmospheric river overwhelms the west. So we're going to have a look at the damage so far. Plus, when someone says no gifts nowadays, they actually mean it. Coming up, we'll talk to a Wall Street Journal reporter about this new trend of scaling back presents at birthdays, weddings, and baby showers. Yep. What do you think? Uh, I have, I'm into it. What? I always write, your presence is the present. You know why? Because uh, it is. Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm not just making it up. <laughs> but I am drowning in stuff. And I just don't want any more stuff in my life. And that's the primary reason for me. My son's about to turn three in May. And I think it's a great idea. But he's so into presents because he goes to all these birthday parties. Oh, so I, yeah. I have to think about it. I have to think about it. OK, we'll talk about this later because <laughs> there are you know, conflicting points of view on it. <laughs> In the meantime, stock futures are down sharply this morning. Investors are concerned about the financial sector after two major banks failed. U.S. markets rallied yesterday, with the Dow finishing up more than 300 points. The European trading this morning, though, the shares of Credit Suisse have tumbled. A new report from Reuters says Saudi National Bank, which is the biggest investor in Credit Suisse, notified the bank that it would not provide any more funding. So we're going to bring you an update on the markets after Wall Street, uh, Wall Street rings the opening bell for you. Meanwhile, the uh, producer price index fell one-tenth of a percent in the month of February. That's according to new data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And when you compare the numbers to a year ago, wholesale prices rose more than four and a half percent, a big drop from the almost six percent increase year over year in January. CBS News has learned that the Justice Department has opened an investigation into the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. And the Wall Street Journal reports the SEC is also investigating the bank. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News Chief National Affairs and Justice Correspondent Jeff Begays. Jeff, good to see you. What can you tell us about this investigation? It is early on in this investigation, that's for sure. 